know it at the time, but his, the, the mathematical description he found, which describes how space and time are distorted in the presence of a star, a non-spinning star, which is kind of important, um, th those, those fully describe a black hole that isn't spinning. If it's I remember remarkable. correctly, uh, he would die in the First World War. I don't think he made it out of the war. No, he died in 1916, so shortly after... Uh, not not in action. Uh, he oh, it was not from, in action. Okay. I think he died from uh, disease, uh, diseases that he. Uh, it was on the Russian front. Okay. It was an yeah. It so could be war related, but not yeah, it was. From an war, injury. I think it was. Yeah, you okay. would argue war related. Uh, yeah. So we've got uh, you know more than a century of mathematical foundation yeah. for this. Yeah. And then you go forward to six with no years. data, no data. No, and then you, then yeah. then so it, it takes another fifty years, by the way, for someone to work out what it looks like for a spinning one, mm -hmm. which is Roy Kerr. It's a famous Kerr solution. Mm -hmm. But th those two solutions are, are, are there. They're, they're in Einstein's theory in, some, in a sense. Um, and they describe the black hole. But um, observing them is something that we haven't been able to do till recently. So, so And multi-wavelengths as well. Yeah. yeah so yeah. so now we have radio okay. observations, the gravitational okay. wave observations. So I'll, I'll be a little kinder to that. <laughs> well, it, because it is the way... The thing is, you know, as you said right at the start, Science is about, yes,